The extraordinary thing about Weil is he's everything. His music sounds in times like Mahler, it sounds like Shostakovich, it sounds like Gershwin, it sounds like the cabaret of, of Berlin of his day. But his extraordinary ability to put his personality on everything he writes and to unify all of those styles makes him unique. The influences are very, very clear. Passages that are pure Stravinsky and then other passages that are massive, lavish, great orchestral things like Eric Korngold uh -huh. or one of the great other great yeah. cinema composers. In the years that followed, discontent... For Weil in the 1920s, jazz was new. Jazz is about being free, it's about being individual, yet within a very understood and accepted musical structure. I think it's possible that Brecht and Weil felt that one's moral choices should be free and individualistic, but within a social context. And it makes no attempt to be nice, to be just to be pretty for pretty's sake. It's always scratching and tearing, and there is beauty in it, but it's, it's never still. Brecht and Weil didn't want you to become emotionally trapped in the piece. They wanted you to maintain a distance whereby you were constantly thinking rather than constantly feeling. Both Brecht and Weil were desperate to get away from the whole build-up of 19th century romanticism that had happened in Europe. Opera is famous for being emotionally enveloping, and that was something they were both keen to get away from. To, they could give their message in as thoughtful a way as possible. You know, you mustn't be seduced by the music. You've got to play the ugliness, even though you're singing this gorgeous kind of tune. You, you mustn't be seduced by that. You've got, to, you've got to stay with the story and stay with the, the language. We spend so much of our time in opera trying to marry the music and the, the drama and the poetry together. It's actually rather refreshing to say, no, there is no connection between the two. I'm convinced that lots of people could find themselves humming the tune at the end of that one. But they won't be saying the words. An uncomfortable feeling, and the message is an uncomfortable one, but I would like to think that it inspires you to fight back and not accept that that's the only way life should be led. Yeah.